Hey everyone, welcome to today's Aesthetic Trader video. Today we're going to be scanning for bullish reversals. That's correct, we're going to be actually scanning the market and be looking for some bullish reversals. Before we do that though, we need to understand and go through the concept of what actually is a bullish reversal. And we will be focusing specifically on the bullish reversal today. There of course also is a, something called a bearish reversal, but for today, let's focus on the bullish variety. So um, essentially a bullish reversal is where sellers get exhausted. So there's really two parts to it. So sellers get exhausted is number one, but the second part, which is really important, you need to see what's called follow through buying. Um, the great thing about these reversals is that they're very visual and we wanna use candlestick charts to be able to see these. So let me show you guys what this looks like so you can kind of get your head around this and then uh, we'll be looking for some other opportunities. But here is uh, shares of Alibaba. And this one, according to my proprietary B2 reversal indicator and scanner, which by the way, is up for grabs. If anyone's interested, you can actually purchase that. But what you'll find is these two green candles. You see this one down here, or excuse me, green arrows. This one right here, right? And then there's one right here, which happened just two days ago, okay? So what this shows is seller exhaustion can, and followed up by follow through buying. So let's just look at the one that just happened a couple of days ago. And this is an actual one. Uh, here's the actual the bullish scanner. And you can see BABA actually showed up on the scanner yesterday, among some other ones. So why is this a qualified, what I call B2 bullish reversal? And actually the, the um, green arrow should be underneath this candle. That's uh, the way it should be. So why is this a qualified bullish reversal or what I would call my B2 bullish reversal, which, which looks for a very specific thing. So we're looking for seller exhaustion and you can see on this day, th these are daily charts, right? So daily candles. You can see that sellers tried their very best to push the market lower. But what happened here? The market rallied all the way back and closed uh, at the upper end of the day's, or well, uh, upper end of, of the, the sort of open to close range. And that was followed the next day by at least marginal follow through buying. So it's this one two punch that's really important. Now, a lot of times, if you want to get make this signal, so if you want to look make the signal stronger or look for the strongest version of this, you want to make sure it's also lined up with some sort of support. So in this case, you can see this lines up what used to be with what used to be resistance, right? Resistance, 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 support, support. Maybe sometimes there's a moving average or something else that lines up there. So to me, this now is a is a proper setup. Um, I don't know how high the stock's necessarily going to go, but I do know I have very well defined. Uh, risk and that's around down here and in this case it actually matches up roughly with a $200 area which is also nice as a round number so these B2 reversals are very easy to spot uh, again I use my proprietary indicator for this which scans for the B2 bullish and bearish reversals B2 is my own proprietary language and it looks for a very specific set of, of, of parameters so it doesn't just look for a specific candlestick patterns let me just quickly make this point I get a lot of people who, who tell me, oh, I can just uh, use the built-in candlestick fine pattern finder on my favorite charting software. And I promise you that's going to lead to disaster over time because that's not good enough. You need something that filters through all that noise of, of these patterns. And that's why I developed this indicator, which tells me, which looks for, which has three things built in. It has, for, it has very specific parameters for momentum, for trend, and for candlestick. So it looks for three specific things that have to happen together. And so what happened here yesterday, or I guess, yeah, I guess yesterday is, is all these things came together. And it's just like here, if we go back to the chart a little bit further, you can see the same thing happened here, right? And even if the trade wouldn't have worked out, we knew we, we would have known exactly where to get out, right? So that's the great thing about this. Not only do you have a really high probability setup, you also know exactly when to get out and that would be down here. So in this case of Alibaba right now, this is where we'd set our stop. There's a couple other ones that, that showed up yesterday. It's interesting, like for example, PANW had one as well, or LEA. These are another uh, PANW and LEA. These are two other ones that have the similar kind of price action. 
Uh, I happen to like what BABA is doing, not because I, I don't know whether this trade's going to work out or not, and I don't really care, to be honest with you, because I know over time, most of these trades are going to work out. Even if this one doesn't work out, and, I, and, I, and it pushes down here, if it breaks below 200 or so on a daily closing basis, I'm out. So that's the great thing. I know exactly where I need to get out. So that's um, today's scanning session for looking for B2 bullish reversals. Again, the same thing can be done with bearish reversals, of course. I hope this is helpful, folks. Uh, trade steady and trade wise, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.